What is your comfort film? Now, when I say comfort film, I'm referring to a movie that just the mere thought of it fills you with joy. Watching it is the equivalent of being tucked into bed underneath the warmest, coziest blanket imaginable. For me, Jean Favreau's 2014 independent film, Chef, certainly fits the bill. Now, I don't want to be a chef. Like any Italian, of course I love food, but that is not my lifestyle. I want to be a director. I couldn't be a chef. I struggle to make a simple pasta. So why is it that every time I watch the film Chef, I feel distinctly closer to Jean Favreau's lead character, Carl Casper? That's because Chef isn't really a movie about being a chef. Ironic, huh? You see, Jean Favreau is one of my greatest inspirations, whether it be simple, independent cinema like Swingers, oh, baby, you are so money and you don't even know it. or gigantic scale storytelling like Iron Man or The Mandalorian, Favreau can do it all. Chef came out at a really interesting time for the director. After the release of 2008's Iron Man, Favreau was the hottest director in Hollywood. Everyone wanted him to tackle their franchise or their superhero. Instead of signing on to whatever studio project was thrown at him, the director decided to make Iron Man 2, which was nowhere near as beloved as the original. Just a little side note, I don't hate Iron Man 2 as much as everyone else seems to. I watched it again the other day. It's not bad. I have it on Blu-ray. You can read about it online, or you can watch High Top Films' excellent video about it, but Iron Man 2 was not entirely Favreau's film. It was heavily tampered with by Marvel Studios, and all in all, frustrated the shit out of the director in question. As such, Favreau went a different route for his next movie, Cowboys and Aliens. While Iron Man 2 was critically panned, at least it was somewhat successful, making over $580 million worldwide. That cannot be said for Cowboys and Aliens, which, in addition to a 47% score on Rotten Tomatoes, also lost the studio at least $80 million. Following the Cowboys and Aliens disaster, Favreau stepped down from directing Iron Man 3, but he remained on board as a producer and star. It was clear that the director needed time off. He needed to be reminded of why he loved filmmaking and why it was so special to him. So now that you know the backstory, you understand that Chef was not so much of an interesting new project for Favreau. It was more of an essential reminder of his love for filmmaking. Here's a really great quote from the director regarding what it was like working on an independent film set after years of being in the studio environment. It made me feel like I still had my chops and I could still do what I did 20 years ago. I think subconsciously you always question whether you've lost a step and can still do what you did when you were younger. There's really a victory in this film. Without ruining the movie, Chef is all about an artist struggling to understand the value of their art. It is a film about an asshole who learns that money means jack shit when you can't spend time with your son, and that in this day and age, artistic integrity means the entire world. It's fucking molten, see? It's fucking molten, you asshole! The movie is not exactly subtle about this either. Carl Casper, the film's lead character, begins the movie as a self-obsessed head chef at an insanely popular upper-class restaurant in Los Angeles. Carl often clashes with the restaurant's owner, Reva, as he feels he cannot express himself artistically and is repeatedly told to stick to the classics. You know what I think? I think you should play your hits. Casper's career comes crashing down when he attacks a food critic for bad-mouthing his culinary skills. With Chef, Favreau blurs the lines between fiction and reality. It's not hard to make people happy. There are certain things you can put on a menu that will make everybody happy. If you put ahi tuna on a menu, it will sell out. It's guaranteed. You know that. But I cooked the beef cheek, which is a, a better dish, and nobody, nobody wants to even it try it. It was good. No. I mean, yeah. For family meal. Well, who are you cooking for, though? Of course, if Favreau decided to make Chef about a director and called it director, some of the stuff would feel a little too on the nose. 
Everything in the film's first act, from Reva wanting to appeal to the mainstream instead of being unique, all the way to the vicious attack by the food critic, feels very similar to Favreau's experience making Iron Man 2, a film that was berated by critics for feeling too commercial and spending way, way, way too much time setting up 2012's The Avengers, instead of telling its own story. Now, all of that said, what makes Chef the ultimate comfort film to me is just how it handles everything after the movie's first act. The film never divulges into a narcissistic or nihilistic territory. Carl never becomes depressed or angry or violent. Instead, he's forced to reassess himself and why he's even doing the thing that he does. The central question Chef seeks to ask its audience is this. Are you making your art for yourself or for others? I feel as if every single person who's ever created anything ever has asked themselves this very question multiple, multiple times. Hell, I know I have. In fact, the very existence of this video right here is further proof of that. When Chef was released back in 2014, I guarantee Favreau was asking himself the same questions I do each and every single day. You know, the whole, is what I'm doing worth anything? Why am I doing this at all? Should I have just studied law and commerce like my mum keeps telling me? Those sorts of questions. At the end of the day, the real reason why Chef is my ultimate comfort film is because at the end of the movie, Carl loves food again. Spoiler alert, by the way. He loves being a chef. He loves his son and his wife and his friends. At the end of the movie, he is chef. Everything that happened before was merely a blip on the radar, a reminder of what is truly, truly important. If there's one thing any artist can take away from this film, it is this. There will be times in which your art is poorly received or not received at all. However, if you keep your head down and you keep it straight, and focus on what you really want to say with your art, there will eventually be a time in which your work is beloved. So that brings this week's video to a conclusion. I just want to thank everyone for watching. And yeah, that's Chef. I love Chef. Please go watch Chef. Uh, this video was not meant to be like an analytical piece. It was more just me saying how much I like Chef and how I think everyone should watch it. Again, because it's a really beautiful movie. Please subscribe, like, share, you know, all that stuff. And my next video will be coming soon. And it will be about the hit John Cena film, Blockers. So get ready for that because I fucking love that film. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.